Hey friends, welcome back to the channel Creatively Sandra. If you are new here, I'm Sandra and on this channel we do all things Disney and I have another pin opening today. So it seems like that's all I'm doing lately, pins, pins, pins. Um, I haven't got mystery boxes, I uh, like bippity box, I haven't got lounge fly orders. I've been doing a lot of shopping for box swaps. So that's where um, everything but pins has been going. So. We've got a lot to catch up on, some things that have been sitting here for a bit. And if you are a YouTuber, <laughs> Disney YouTuber, and you're a pin collector, sometimes it's hard to figure out, what do I show today? Like, what things do I group together? So today I've decided to group together three different live sales that I participated in. And the first one is from Dream499. I watched them over on Instagram. Diana runs it, and she does a really great um, live sale. She has a lot of older pins, some unique and some new. Um, everything from grail pins to lower end. She plays some fun games on there and so it is a fun one to watch. She has every Sunday night I believe um, and so I, I do watch her. I missed this one so I miss saying I missed it because I earned a ticket. That's one of the games so if you purchase something, you pay on time, up to a certain amount, you'll get a ticket for the next week. And she does a raffle prize and those are always really good. So she is, um, this says live drawing on October 15th. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to make that live. So I missed out if I was pulled, but here's her information. So dream 499 pins, and I'll include that in the description below. This is a pin, I only purchased one pin from this sale, you know, trying to behave or whatever. But um, with this pin, this was one I got, I got one from this series in a different sale and fell in love with it. And so I'm looking for some of the others. It's weird because it's a dated pin. It's a Halloween pin. I don't collect a lot of those, though it's growing on me after this Halloween season. But this is so cool. It's from Mickey's Not so scary Halloween party from 2016 and it is the Maleficent pin but what I like about this is this moving mask so I had gotten the Queen of Hearts one and now I'm just looking for all of them very cool I love the motion on that let me pull it off the backer card and you can get a different view I'm gonna put it well let's just use this envelope and kind of put it on a white background for you to be able to get the full effect of the pin so there we are we've got diablo up there as well but i just find her um like mask with the horns of the dragon is so cool um it does say it does have 2016 on there and not so scary halloween party but i just like it i like the mechanics of this moving element and just love how the villains are portrayed on these. So very happy to have that. All right, the next one is from Kat over and on Facebook and usually in Disney pin trading and Disney pin finity. So they start in one group, but the sale goes so long and Facebook only lets you go live for so long. So they have to switch over. So she had a fun one uh, a couple weeks ago that I participated in. And I think I mostly bought traders because there were so many that were such a good price. Um, oh, but look at this. So everybody who participated, or maybe the first 50 who bought, I don't know what it was, but we got a treat bag. So how sweet is that? Let's see what's in here. Like I need more Halloween candy right now, right? But it's a fun bag. Oh my gosh, look at that. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys. It is got all the characters on there. That is adorable. I think they are able to go to a Daiso and maybe that's where that came from. But I've got, oof, I've got nerds. I've got a burger, <laughs> some gummy bears, a lollipop and something fell. I think it was a little piece of licorice. All right, so let's see what I got from there. So let's pull out a pin board maybe because I think I got several pins. Let's see if I can reach one. I got a little one here. So packaged all up here. Let's cut it open and see what we got. 
like I said, she had a great sale. One of them, I don't know if it's in this package or the other sale I did, but I have one gift item in here, so I won't show that. So let's see if we can, and these are all on tiny little backer cards, so maybe I don't need the board. All right, let's see. This is one I needed to complete. I just looked back at my collection. This is a limited release from the cauldrons that came out recently in the parks, and they sold them online. I did not buy did I buy? I did buy some boxes of this when I was at the um, Magic Happens event. And so I got a few and I wanted to finish that collection. So I've got the Prince John Cauldron. And then I've got the Yzma Cauldron. So I think there's only one more I need and it's Ursula. So nice deal on those. And then these were a couple of the ones, like really $5 pins. Figaro, he's going to make a great trader. I got a Munchling for $5 and it's Maleficent. So how could I pass that up? Haven't decided on this yet. I have some Munchlings to open as well. I didn't think I was gonna go down that road, but here we are. And then one of the waffle pins, and this was only $7. So I got Daisy. And then this one, I don't understand why this was so cheap. It seems like it would be sought after. It is a LE 1200 and it was only $5 of, is it Mary, the Sanderson sisters? This was definitely a trader. They are not, Hocus Pocus is not something I collect, but it is a limited edition. I just dropped it. Okay, it is a, well, it says limited edition, but I don't see that on the back of the pin. So that's interesting, but I think it may have come from Pink a la mode set. You guys recognize this one? So it's Disney licensed. I don't know anything else about it, but I feel like it was a pink a la mode set. So we'll see. I'll look that one up, but that one was also a good deal at $7. All right. So we've got one more package we're going to open for this video. And it is from Diz Family Adventures. They are so much fun to shop with, whether it's their live sale or you can go shopping with them. They always throw in little stuff. So I'm feeling some stuff in here. So it looks like I got a little goodie bag. So here is their information. This is Lauren and Gwen, and they enlist some of the rest of the family as well. They're on YouTube. They're on Instagram as Diz Family Adventures and Diz Family Adventures Pickups. So they do do park pickups. They do do park pickups. Um, and so I've reached out to them several times to just go looking for something for me that I knew was in the parks. Okay, so we got some more candy. We got some airheads and we've got some more licorice Twizzlers. Are these flavored or they're rainbow? I don't know. We can find out. And then we've got some cute stickers. So we've got A Nightmare Before Christmas. I'm not going to say anything about that, but Shay, I'm thinking of you. And then we've got An Evil Queen and Maleficent. And somebody's in the background there. Interesting. But that's cute sticker or cute in an evil way and even there I can't show you the address like they've got some fun Halloween stickers on here all right so I've got a couple of things and I don't remember what I bought Ooh, there's a bunch of fun Halloween themed Mickey head confetti in here as well so I'm gonna be careful not to drop that all right so it's packaged like this they're cute little sticker there that says thank you I think I got pins and I think they're just wrapped really well. Look at that. That's so fun with the ghosts on there. And then the other is just an orange tissue wrapping. Now, they feel like a shirt or something, but I think it's just all the bubble wrap they have. Let's see. I believe I had... I feel like I had a Vanellope pin that I had them pick up. So let's dig in. Let me get these open and we'll be right back. Okay, so the first item is not a pin at all. I forgot that I ordered this, but it is a key. 
and it is the Encanto key. So I only have collected a few keys. I have one for Up and I have one for um, Alice in Wonderland. And this is the Encanto one. This is so cute. Look at all the flowers on that, the pink. You've got Mirabelle, you've got Encanto, and then the part of the key is the, the Casita. You can turn it that way too, but really it's it does go this way with the word Encanto on there. But this is so pretty, and I am excited to add that to my Encanto collection. And then these are some of the sale pins I got. Let's put them on a board so you can see. So. I know I only paid like $5 for this maybe, maybe seven, but I don't think so. Um, so this was from a mystery series from Lion King and it is the birds there. That's pretty cool. And then why did I buy this? It had to be a really good deal. And I guess maybe I had my grandson in mind and was just, hey, let's make the shipping worth it. But I got a little Hulk pin. Now, I'm curious, I don't know that that's a Tiny Kingdom pin. It's a tiny pin, but was there just Tiny Hulk pins? Um, I don't think it'll say on here. Actually, it might. Let's take a look. So it just says Marvel, oh, limited release. So were the Tiny Kingdom pins a limited release? Maybe that is. There's another little saying on here or notation that says, ooh, it just says Disney and Marvel, um, like the copyright symbol there. So that's kind of cool. And the other sale pin I got was from that dragon mystery set. I don't even know who this is, <laughs> but he was cute. And I know uh, some of those dragons were sought after. Um, good dinosaur, the good dragon. I don't know. Anyway, I don't think that's it. I think he has another name. Okay. And then the last two pins for today were from the Darling series. This was a series of the princesses and I needed to get Rapunzel. So I've added her to my collection and these are adorable. They're like, if you haven't seen them, they're like the bedroom or room for the princess. And then the little princess comes off. I got a little pink sticker here. The princess comes off and can be displayed separately. So there's two backers and this one, I'll just show you on this one. It actually detaches. There's a hole in the pin on pin portion of it. And so you can have the room by itself and the, I'm like all thumbs today, and the princess separate, or you can scoot them back together. Okay, and I was really excited. I had found this out that this was coming when I went to the Magic Happens event and they had all like um, upcoming pins displayed and I found out there was gonna be a vanilla bee in this series. So I'm very excited to have her. I know there is also one more I'll have to get. So there's gotta be two left. I think this was October and there's gotta be November and December left. I haven't seen what the next one is, but I know Alice is one of them, which is kind of weird because she's not a princess, but she, well, this isn't a princess series, I guess. Vanellope is a princess, but um, since it's just darlings, maybe it doesn't have to be a princess. So very excited to add that one to my collection. There's so many pins here and they're all over the place now with all the packaging on my table, but Tell me which one you liked the best. If you guys haven't already subscribed, don't wait, go down and do that. Help me out and like the video and comment below and let me know what was your favorite today. And do you shop with any of these guys? So again, um, Kat is on Facebook, Disney Pin Trading. You have Dream 499 pins on Instagram and Diz Family Adventures and Diz Family Adventure pickups on Instagram and they are all fantastic to shop with. And um, not the first time and not the last I'll be buying from them. So um, let me know what you think and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.